In this video, I play a T-34 that's been shrunk in the wash, an endangered species of cat goes extinct, and I offend every nation in the world. Hey. What are you doing on that cat? You trying to capture that point, dude? Cringe. <laughs> he just smoked. Hey. Another one. I'll get scouted. There's boomers. Boomers, boomers, and coomers. The German army's got it all. Whoa, hey, hey, big fella. Long penetration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, my reload is faster than anything you've ever seen, dude. There it is, look. The destroyer of worlds. The scud threats. Flap and fluff. Spy centimeter. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know, German. Oddbots, it's not M MK. It's not Mac. Mac, it's machine cannon. Shut up, dude. I know what MK stands for. I need to pronounce it like MK. Like MG. It's machine gun, it's not MG. No one says that in English. Nobody. But Germans, dude. It's machine cannon. Uh, it's a 4G. Give me your turret cheek. Get back to 3.7, you son of a bitch. Nobody loves you. Except Germans. That sounds like it's coming for me. Oh, it was going for him. Matt, that plane saved me. Don't you dare touch him. Oh! Where did you come from, my friend Sherman? You son of a... He's dead. And... Boop. Oh, I scouted the Panzer fo Holy crap, dude. Germans terrify me in any nation. Sacre bleu. Is that what they say? Something like that. France. I don't think a French person's ever said that in their life. That's things that English people say. English speaking people. They like mock France. French early surrender. <laughs> God, are so cringy. British people? Super cringe. We think we're the best at everything, but we're really not anymore. A bit like America. You actually have to be good at stuff to claim things like that. You can't be like, oh yeah, we were good once. <laughs> this one time we were pretty decent at uh, colonizing the entire planet. But just once though, not anymore. No, your whole turret crew seems to be having a serious issue here. Now we won't even wear our face mask. Because I might upset our wee lungies. Oh, dude. That is Stuggy Boy. I know when you're spawned, but your team is definitely lost. Just imagine Jeremy Clarkson, right? Britain was once the best nation in the world. And then, now look at us, dude. Oi, mate. I wore a PC pipe on me face. Now I can't breathe in it. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods today. I'm sorry. Another Puma. It'll be an absolute pleasure to kill you, sir. You have no idea. Give me that engine, boy. There we go. That fire should help quite a bit. Oh, that's a scary Sweden over there, too. Scout target is damaged. Aha, that ammo rag, though. Right, give me a Sweden. I think uh, Swedish tanks, right? Should only be able to join battles as a spectator. Since that would be historical. Ow. That, that man took offence to that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you can't... I don't think... You, can you win this? Oh my god, this man is laggy as hell. Look at this. Oh. I got... Pat <laughs> he hurt himself. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the T-50. Now, I've had someone in the comments section pestering me to play this for a wee while now. And I've been ignoring it because I thought I'd done it already. And it turns out... Uh, I haven't, and this thing is a fantastic little tank, so it's well worth playing. I mentioned in the intro that it's basically a shrunken T-34, that's exactly what it is. Actually, the T-34 is a scaled up version of this, it, for multiple reasons. It's got quite a thick frontal sloped armour plate, and a very similar shaped turret to the T-34. Super survivable, you think the 40mm of armour around about here wouldn't do any good, but just because it's angled, it's... <sighs> Bounces more shots than it probably should. It is fast, it's pretty nimble, it's got decent gun depression even for a Russian vehicle. The reload speed is 
3.1 seconds that's on an expert crew it actually goes to sub 3 seconds if you ace this thing which shouldn't take you too long it's an absolute beast and the turret rotation speed and that's about it is the only negative thing about it it's got some rough suspension that's not really a negative the thing is really good gun wise the same as the bt5 has a 45 millimeter cannon with a decent amount of tnt explosive mass it will struggle to kill things that have separated crew and of course the mighty 105 sherman but there's really not a drawback because it's a light tank it can scout it's got artillery as well it's really nimble it's a very good tank so long as you get used to the turret rotation speed this thing is bloody awesome now the best way to play this tank is like any other Stay on your flanks, take your time, take out opponents that are not paying attention. If you need to, let the enemy bounce a shot off your upper front plate, like bait them into it, then peek out, shoot them in a weak spot, rinse and repeat. But today, we're just going to hold W. I'm one of these firm believers that if you've got a tank that's covered in angles like this thing, the more you move, the more difficult it is for the server to register the hit on you, the more likely you are to survive. Let's get into battle. Right, see... Okay, Stalingrad, very cool spawns, thank you. After you, Savin. No, you want to drive into me again, right? Okay. Right, here we go, Stalingrad. Um, this will either be really fun or just really not. What I generally tend to find is that Stalingrad is just like a... Hey, one team is in the enemy spawn two minutes into the match and then that's the game over, right? Very small game. 10v10 Stalingrad, 3 cat. Did you notice me here? How was that? That was a slick move, dude. A slick move. There's stuff coming here as well, look. Actually, I had, like, multiple things. Something coming from my left as well. Are you gonna drive over that like a madman? Because I'll do it if you don't. But half the players that are in the map are in this match. Oh my god, I skied that. Pretty high. Oh, your breach is out. That's not ideal, sir. Anyway, there. Do you have any friends? No. Yeah, I get you. I understand. I'm not going to cap that point for the hope that the game runs a bit longer. What's that little, uh, Kenny. Is he on fire? Just now. Another one. Or two. Right. That man's on a mission. And this M22 is as well. You surely you see me, right? A fuel explosion again. Uh-huh. We meet again, M22. Everyone's just coming at me. Oh, the game filled up. That's what happened. Two here as well. Another M22, look. This thing is scary, dude. Big scary. I'm going to die. Still going to die. Right, his breach is out. Where's your friend at? I see him. We got plenty of time. Two people. The Brawl Master 5000 is here. Oh, you. You've got a scary gun. Is this guy driving past me again? Please don't tell me it's the same dude again, right? Surely not. Another Stuart, too. Hey, wait there. I had that guy, I did nothing to him. This 
poor guy's burning to death. We just leave him there. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Are you gonna be alright? No. Oh, oh. It's too late for him now. Right, where did this uh where did this full metal Sweden go? <gasps> this T50 is nuts, dude. It's like if you just keep moving, you're like immortal. Is this mad they're fighting somebody or is he getting artillery? Oh no. Yeah. We didn't have very good map control for a wee while, but I think things are looking up for us. That can kill me too. Uh oh. Understood. Understood. I mean, we gotta go B. We've captured most of the strategic zones. Most of them for now, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the most W old vehicles. It's like a it's a T thirty four. At this BR. Except it's got an extremely fast reload. I hear him. He backed off. Are these guys still alive? An LBT just killed my friend here. Oh, I see one to my left here as well. Oh, that is the LBT. Right. Again, we'll ignore the cap just to give the enemy team a chance to keep spawning things in and Keep the battle going. That's for me now, right? A Swedish thing. That's very close that bomb. We good though. Just gotta keep driving away. That's all. We'll come back for another trip, I think. PR cap ended. Wait, what's this? I'm not scared of that other than it's tracking me. Oh no, he survived. How much ammo have I got? 27 rounds? Where's this other M13? Where did you go then? There's no mercy today. There's no mercy today. Not today, dude. Is that a greyhound? Oh my god, dude. It's a poor little Kami. Eh, uh, what the hell was that? It's a ducky! Oh, there's a lot of planes coming in now. Oh my god! Look how many there are! I think it's two machine guns, which is kind of neat. I'd be happy if I got a plane kill. That'd be very nice. He's flying pretty slow, this guy. I may have a chance here if I'm not an idiot. Although it looks like he might be going down already. Oh, I'll kill his sister on him. Right, here comes a uh, here comes a ducky. What on earth is going on with all these aircraft? It's gonna kill. Oh, ducky killed someone. There's so many people left alive, by the way. Like tons of them, but it's a uh, like I said, landslide. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Fucker Wolf 200, I think. Yeah, it was a friendly. <laughs> I don't think he meant it. The Stucky's playing here, RB, dude. It's like taking the longest route around, look. Just to get a good flight path and run at things. <laughs> 16 kills, by the way. 
He's just like, and then it's dead. The game's dead now. Yeah, yeah, come to me. I hit him. But it was obviously only APCR. Going for a steeper angle now, look. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Deep space frick. I wanted that plane kill. Okay, full hot here. <laughs> I saw the KV2 and I noticed the KV1. Right, okay. Well, thankfully we're rushing. Otherwise we'll face that. No uh, no KV1 B on the on the German side, thank you. He's 4 0. Uh, that guy is Bolden. Lieutenant Suru. Well, people have like I don't know if that's a historical figure, but it sounds like one. Well people have uh, historical uh, names, right? Loads of them. A lot of Whitmans did. You don't see a lot of Adolf, so do you? I'm only, I'm only kidding. Oh, my dog doesn't like that name. Clearly, wonder when it'll be okay ever to have that as a first name. I, I actually know an Adolf. But he's. Well, I think he's actually 90, 91 now. Enemy forces have a zone. I'm sure he's been tortured with it for his entire life because people are like that. Did you get shot from up there? The Most zone. certainly did. That's a very... Hello? Driver, gonna. That, that was a very quick Puma. Now, I'm probably wrong in assuming there's not another one up there. Um, is there gonna be a HE-112AO on its way to murder me now? That's the question. Wait, we are at 3-7, so there's actually like a few scary... Uh, Cast options for Germany. To the I didn't really plan on coming down here, but I think we're going to. Still a really small game. Still a really small game. The Pumas just uh, they're everywhere, dude. We're getting pounded by Pumas. What um, Stug 3F exists, right? 37, not G. And the Stu. Holy crap. Oh, that's an F2. That was not a good shot there. That could have been better. And we got him anyway. That's an M. Why are they not turning to face me? That's a good little flank we got. Actually, I've been kind of worth my weight in gold. That's some very scary vehicles we just knocked out. I'm happy if you're in a full up tier. You kill a couple of things that like that, scary stuff. Always worthwhile you existing. Otherwise, if you don't, you're just feeding the higher tier stuff. They go in the match. So bear that in mind, right? If you're gonna fill up tier and you take out something like that, it's like two kills basically you've just got for your team. Not, not me, right? But if you're a uh, oh shit. I can't believe I bounced that, do you know that? Aim too high. His APCR is a uh, very flat firing. He hit the ground. This is going to be Oh, the Panzer 4G behind him got knocked out. That's great. Uh, he's going to be repairing that barrel. I, don't, I shouldn't really play aggressive like this on a, on a Stug, but... He, there we go, dude. That's just, oh, it was a it was a stu, which is basically a stunt 3G with a 105 on it. By the way, has anyone been holding the C key down recently? Um, when your turret is behind you, and then when you go, you don't even let it go. It swings round sometimes. It's pretty weird. Maybe it's my uh, no. It's only when I'm looking behind me after this. 
extreme to the side. I notice as well if you've got a a stabilizer on your tank and you do it, it goes like me it wiggles all over the place like an asshole. Not that assholes wiggle, they're usually quite tight. Unless you're fly daily. <laughs> That's a I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, Steve. It was just a joke. Don't sit on me. I like having my bones intact. Fly keeps saying he can run faster than me. But if it's downhill, he'll definitely win. He's right. That guy was alive. That was a fairly decent hit. Oh, oh, the oh dear, what is going on here? Packet lost 5%. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not the only one it's happening to. Hey, <laughs> okay, dude. I love you all, Thunder. Just kidding. So I think the Gaijin servers have kind of died for now. I'm going to cut this video short. I had a lot of fun playing this thing anyway. I've also had some weird computer issue thing because my hard drive ran out of space when I was recording. A lot of the files are just like garbled. So, uh, the T-50 is cursed. Uh, or I'm cursed. One of the two. <laughs> anyway, super fun vehicle. Don't sleep on the T-50. This 2.7 uh, Russia is like a lot of fun, dude. You can kind of back the... T this thing has got a crazy reload as well, actually. Like, a really fast. The SU-122 is S-30, SU-57B. There's a lot of, like, fun things you can kind of, like, back BR, let's say. BT-5, BT-7, uh, or the Zoot. Remember we did that video? That was pretty cool. And then this guy, uh, which is basically a T50, only it's better in every single way except turret rotation speed, right? Yeah, I'm right. This thing's nuts. A huge thank you to all my patrons on Patreon as usual, to everyone who's watching as well. Cheers very much for all the likes and comments as well. I really appreciate that. And to the tier 3 people on Patreon to get a shout out, that's Daniel, Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Ferocious, Ander, Anders Stormwind, what a name dude. Bill L, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gateway, Houndy, Ian, Jesse Bisma, Justin Darling, Kane the Salt Lord, Mr. J, Ralph, Ride, Stoyan, Tectonic, The Fire Paper, Trash Panda, Useless Tortilla, Varian, Warpig, Zema, <gasps> Ollie Fox, Yokbo, Shaf, Mortanen, J Tormey, and Mr. Buswell. Thank you guys so, so much. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.